Hi there, welcome to my review for Yardi. So Yardi is a new British indie film. It's coming from director Idris Elba in his debut. He's obviously best known as an actor and he's a fantastic actor. And Yardi is a promising debut to say the least. I think that although this film has got a lot of flack, it's a little underappreciated. I think it's actually a very well made film and I think Idris Elba has really proved himself to be a very good director here. So Yadi is based on a cult 1990s novel and it follows a Jamaican man who immigrates from Jamaica to the UK and is involved in drug crime and at the same time he has a trouble because his brother was brutally murdered 10 years prior and all that sort of comes to the surface. It becomes a bit of a revenge crime movie, you kind of know how these things play out. Yadi is not an original work by any stretch of the imagination. The opening scenes play very much like something like City of God, except with a lot more music. And the later scenes are clearly just kind of a standard British crime movie and also inflections of other gangster films and other crime films from the time. You could easily imagine something like Scarface kind of playing out like this and there's elements of, you know, Goodfellas and little other films here and there. Yardi is certainly a very standard film, very cliched and it's very unpredictable and it also doesn't really unravel in a way that is totally shocking. However, what it really has is an absolute energy to it. It is very exciting and very lively and the visuals are very moody. Parts of the film are slow moving and parts of it are faster moving and it's very energetic and atmospheric. There's also a key thing on music here. So Idris Elba is also involved in music as well as being an actor and a director, like he is seriously a busy guy and the music scenes here are by far the best scenes in the film. They are incredible and the film really draws on music to create its world and to create its characters and to emphasise the joy that music can bring them and also to cover them and shield them from the various wrongs around them. The crime story is fairly standard and I think that there's not much here to really dig into if you're wanting something radically new as a film but if you want something that really excels at just telling a standard story very well this is the kind of film to seek out because it executes it all very well its plot is very easy to follow and its plot is intricate and well plotted and detailed the characters do do stupid things but like it's not particularly a hindrance. I would say the first third of the film set in Jamaica is really where the film stands out and subsequently it kind of lets itself down with a bunch of silly moments in the second half of the film. There's some other great moments in the second half of the film and I think that the ending itself is fantastic. I think the final few scenes are brilliant and I think the imagery there is magnificent. I think the lighting, which is very dark in times but very bright and vibrant in the scenes that are outside, is very provocative and I think Idris Elba definitely knows how to visually make a movie. I don't know if Yadi would hold up to repeat viewings or if it's a sort of film which I'm ever going to come back to, but as a one-off viewing I found this incredibly engrossing. I was really with it all the way through. I don't think that it's the most intellectual or clever film and I certainly think that it's not a film that's complex or rich, but it's a film of character and life. It has real characters and it has elements of life within it that you can kind of latch onto. And I think it's a film that you can really get wrapped up in, even if it's not something that you can totally buy into. I think it's very much focused on its lead character and I think it is very much focused on creating a world around its lead character. And I think as a result, it really does play out in a way that is faithful to the characters and faithful to the experience of, of people that might actually kind of exist or have existed even though the film is clearly fictitious and very silly and shallow in certain ways. There is a criticism I've seen by some people who say that the accents in the film make it unintelligible and you can't really hear what's going on and I think that is a silly criticism. I personally had no trouble at all understanding anything even though everyone has a strong accent and there's a lot of dialect and slang in this film. I think it's perfectly understandable and I found it absolutely fine. I don't see how people have been criticising Yardi for that, but obviously it depends, obviously some people are not going to be able to cope with it, and I would say if you are someone who's unlikely to be able to follow the thick Jamaican accents of the film, don't watch it, but I personally think that the filmmakers made the correct choice here, they kept it authentic and they kept it true to the characters, and they kept it true to the world, I don't think that someone's inability to handle an accent is the reason why the filmmakers should alter their vision. So yeah, Yardi is a really good film. It just works. It's not great. I think it's sufficiently flawed to warrant 
criticism, but it's no more than that. And I'd say that it's worth checking out, kind of, if you're into this kind of movie. Or if you just want to see Idris Elba's directorial debut, which is surprisingly strong and actually proves that he has potential, and I really want to see the next film that he does. So that's what I thought of Yadi. Have you seen Yadi? I'd love to hear your thoughts if you have, so please leave me a comment. If you want to watch more of my reviews, you can subscribe. If you want to read more of my reviews, you can follow me on Letterboxd or Twitter, links in the description. Thank you for watching, and Yadi, it's a good film.